What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Cam saying that he wants to do the MG82 with a sniper scope on Forsaken. And we did that on a live stream a few days ago. Now, I was really swamped trying to get this Dark Aether guide done. And if you haven't checked that out, the link to that will be up here. So instead, we went ahead and streamed our last Dark Aether grind. But during that stream, we had you guys vote on what weapon and what map you want to see me do next. And the crossbow and Firebase Z1. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Also, if you want to recommend a weapon, make sure you leave a comment down below of what weapon you want to see me do hopefully i'll have a comment there unless i forget uh, of all the weapons that we have left to do so make sure you check that out before leaving your suggestion all right so i already went ahead and got this thing leveled up in multiplayer i know these special weapons and these melee weapons don't have a whole lot of camos to get so i tried to save all of them for these videos but i was having a really good time getting it done there i don't think i'm gonna put an optic on this i don't really think it's needed maybe we put the mill stop on just to guarantee headshots no i'll leave it default and for our camos though we need to get 1500 kills with it three or more critical kills rapidly with it 50 times kill three or more enemies with a single shot 50 times how are we gonna do that i'll probably shatter blast 1500 kills with it while it's pack a punch 10 special or elite eliminations 10 kills rapidly 10 times 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit and that is it but we're gonna need an accessory on this uh what should we go with oh i think we can do the skate deck so we can grind the rail a little better any stickers we can put on this we always got to go with the, the chicken but i think that's good is there a challenge for this we're using any sort of fuel upgrade i don't think so right so we can kind of just use Ring of Fire. I think we can just Ring of Fire this. And I don't think there's just a critical kills challenge either. So crits don't matter. We just need to get kills with it and get a pack a punch. That's not that's not bad at all. So I'll throw Ring of Fire on here. And we can go ahead, hop on Firebase C and get this thing done. All right, here we go. Driving on in with the twin. And I'm excited to get this thing done. It's been a while. I think last time we did this thing, it was really good against Orta. Hopefully it hasn't been nerfed. I know some weapons have, you know, gotten some tweaks and, and things in the past. Some uh, more multiplayer balancing updates, but they, they apply to zombies as well so i guess we'll find out but i really like doing these special weapons uh i really like not having to focus on getting critical kills and just kind of playing and using the gun and enjoying it and a lot of these special weapons like these gimmicky weapons are just fun to use in general and then especially since they link to the melee weapons and the melee weapons are also a lot of fun it's just it's a good time using these you know what maybe we spice it up a little bit maybe i turn on the rampage inducer i'm probably gonna regret this but let's just do it so i feel like it's only gonna take like what 28 rounds to get this thing done that's probably that's probably too little because melee weapons usually take us 27 rounds i can't remember how long it would take for a special just to be safe i'm gonna say 33 rounds 33 rounds it should take Ooh, this thing's kind of nice though we can go ahead and try to get the critical kill thing out of the way i think it's just three crits rapidly but it's gonna be tough without speed call because you see how slow this thing reloads we at least need a pack a punch because i think when we get a pack a punch it holds three bolts at a time instead of one but we do have it fully upgraded so it can shoot more than one at a time so we'll see how that plays into effect and we're already down. Cool. Okay, maybe we do turn the rampage inducer off for a little bit. Maybe we wait to get set up. Oh, please. I do not want to lose the game this early. I I'm getting a little ambitious here. We're going to have to try to beat this round first, though. Oh, wait. Okay, it's off. It's off. Oof. All right. Well, that was a good experiment. Make it a little interesting. We don't have our, our self-revive anymore. And I won't buy quick revive till we're set up. But this thing just reloads too slow right now. That was the fastest like rampage inducer backtrack I think I've done. Look, it's not even one shotting anymore. It's round three. Oh, we're going to have to go for headshots. They're like Daryl Dixon. Oh, and I missed all that. With all those zombies right there, no idea how that missed. It's got to hit at least one of them. This might be bad. This is bad news bears. This is awful. What the hell? I'm missing everything. Oh, we're going to need dead shot too. I already tell this thing's accuracy is going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and move on. It's about time you showed up. Shut up, Peck. Come on, I just need a little more cash so I can go turn on this first reactor. But I keep missing my shots or this thing's not killing them. If we can just get a ring of fire, I'll, I'll be chilling. Because we don't have to worry about bolting this thing back. Do we have to bolt it back in a ring of fire, actually? I don't remember. I hope not. You wouldn't think so, right? All right, I think we have enough to get to the next one, but just to be sure, I'll kill one more. Let's pop this baby open. We'll open up this one as well. We'll grind the rail inspect look at the the tech deck grab this loose change and we'll start up the reactor leave the reactor alone please i said please can we collat nope i not not with that same we're already kind of getting low on ammo we only have 26 shots and it's taken more than one to kill a zombie if we don't hit a headshot so this is uh not looking great oh double points oh please please don't kill me hold on ring of fire i'll kill you oh stroke camo let's go first camo of the day 
And we used our ring of fire right as uh, we finished the reactor. So that's cool. And when the reactor goes off, it's going to take a little bit for the zombies to spawn back in. So we wasted that double points as well. That's a double waste. Pop this open. We'll turn this on and get going with this next one. Oh, this thing is painfully slow right now. This is like ZRG slow. Maybe even slower. At least with the ZRG, there's some attachments to make it faster. But in this game, for whatever reason, they didn't decide to add any attachments to the crossbow besides optics. Like, you don't get a different kind of cable like you would in Modern Warfare. No different kinds of bolts like explosive or like poison gas. Like, they really did this crossbow dirty. Okay, that's the reactor. Two down, painfully slow. We only got one more to go and we can just get this thing pack-a-punched and it'll be a lot better. But first, grind the rail to spin though. <gasps> I think I might've hit the stairs, but I'm gonna count that because that was kind of clean. Also, check the tech deck. Maybe we can just upgrade it here real quick. Let's get it green. That's about it. But that little extra damage is gonna go a long way. And we'll start this reactor up. Leave it alone, zombie. An insta-kill? Actually, that's perfect for this. I will take an insta-kill for the crossbow. Anything to make this thing better. Got eight bullets left. And a Mimic's after me? Cool. I wonder how many shots it takes to kill a Mimic with a default bow. Probably like 45. Oh, shit. I really can't go down. I gotta remember I don't have a self-revive. We just need a few more kills, and then we can just have the Reactor take the Mimic out for us. Honestly, we're probably better off just knifing. Oh, wait. Did this do decent damage to the Mimic? Am I seeing that right? Three bullets left. They might just destroy this Reactor because I can't hit a shot. Okay, I'm just gonna knife. We gotta get this thing over with. Oh, no. They're gonna, they're gonna destroy it. There we go. All right, we got the kills that we needed. I'm not about to just buy ammo. Did we get one bullet from that? That's kind of weird. Okay. And there's some more on the ground. But I was not going to buy ammo regardless if we got ammo there or not, because we're just going to go ahead and pack a punch for it. Okay. Well, maybe uh, my excitement was misplaced because this thing's kind of dookie so far. Let's go through the teleporter. All right, Ravnov. Let me pack a punch this thing right now. Thank you. Now let's see if this thing's a one shot. It better be. There we go. Okay, so I was wrong. You don't get to hold more than one bolt at a time, even when it's pack-a-punch. Well, I guess, you know, with the upgrades, you can. Sometimes it'll let you shoot more than one. We just collided there, I'm pretty sure. But the reload is so much faster, it's insane. And that's what we're really looking for here. Let's go ahead and buy Deadshot to start. That way we can just guarantee we're not... Oh my god. I was about to say, guarantee we're not missing shots, and I missed my first bullet in that sentence. Okay, that's the round. I need to hurry up and get up here. We got a Wasteland Camo as well. Let's try to get our free Jug before the zombies come in. Come on, bunny. Come on. There we go. Thank you. All right, let's make this quick. Any zombies gonna dance for me though? Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. Get killed. Oh, is this already back to not one-shotting? This is cruel and unusual punishment. Wait, can I snipe it from here? Check this out. Bam. Nope. And bam. Nope, that was even further of a miss. Right there. And right here. Got it. Easy. First try. All right, let's just get this last one and get out of here. Sorry, zombies. I had to do it to you. Oh, free armor. Thank you. And watch this. Ray K out of the box. I'm going to say it every time until we get it. Show me Ray K. Nope. We got a Gallo. Not bad, though. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is what the crossbow looks like. Pack-a-punch one here on Firebase. Not that bad. Uh, definitely going to look a lot better with the other pack-a-punch camos, though. Let's go set up by the pack-a-punch machine until we have enough to get quick revive. And to do that, I'm just going to ring a fire. Oh, this thing's fun with Ring of Fire. Okay, maybe uh, my excitement wasn't misplaced because this is pretty cool. This thing goes in once you're set up, but getting set up with it is kind of a drag. And we just got two camos during that. Oh, three camos. Four camos. Five camos. Any more? That's what I thought. Got these camos scared. You go through ammo so fast with this thing, though. I don't think 90 bolts is going to be enough. So let's get quick revive just to make sure we can keep the game going. And I think next we're going to need Mule Kick. But before that, let's get Shatter Blast. And we'll use Shatter Blast until we get Mule Kick. I guess, I guess we're going to use it the whole game, but this way we're not wasting too much ammo because one bullet's about to take out this whole crowd of zombies. And then we do one of these and they're all gone. Just like that. And I got a decoy. Oh, there's Threshold Camo. Let's go. Entropathy. Vanish Camo. Let's go. All done with the three or more crits. Those are the only crits we had to get in the whole game. Now we can do literally whatever we want. Contamination Camo. Let's go. More Jackrabbits added to the board. And our Glacier Camo. 250 kills with it. And we got another ring of fire, so let's just use it. Get that growl camo, nice and easy. And for our last part, before we get there, I guess I'll get stamina up. And then we can probably just stay over there. And honestly, let's turn on the rampage inducer. I, I feel like we're set up enough to be able to fight this thing off. Oh shit, a fucking mimic? Two mimics? Whoa, hold on. Easy elite camos coming up. Got both of them already? Damn. 
When I say easy, I mean easy. There's a scavenger camo. And honestly, we can throw on electric cherry here too, or uh, elemental pop, and use that electric cherry to our advantage because we're going to be reloading after every shot anyways. This thing's a menace with elemental pop, actually. What's up, zombies? How are we doing today? Oh, this thing is actually really fun to use. Bravado camo, let's go. That's our pack-a-punch. This thing's kind of nasty. Let's grab our rewards. And we already finished that. There's conviction. We're done with all of our jackrabbits. And we'll go chill in kernels. Sunder camo. Easy. I wonder if we can survive in here. I feel like the ring of fire is going to carry hard. There's our zebra. We're almost done with our elites. We need four more. And that should be very quick. We have enough to get packed too, but I'm just going to wait till the next uh, assault wave. No point in trying to run over there and grab it while being attacked. We got mimics and mangler spawning and this thing's damage is falling off. Plus ratio. There's our zebra, our blue tiger, actually. Okay, we gotta go. Yeah. Ring of Fire is definitely gonna carry hard up there. Especially when the damage falls off so quick. Like, last round, we were, like, one-shotting everything. This round? Not so much. Okay, maybe there. But that was all Shatter Blast. I'm headshotting zombies and they're not even, like, fully dying. Like, it takes them a second. Like, look at that. Like, almost every headshot now just leaves, like, a, a, like a headless zombie. Let's try this. I'm gonna throw down a decoy at the door. There's already a mangler in here. That's fun. There's our grudge camo. We have our ring of fire. With ring of fire, this thing's nasty. Without it, it's it's almost a liability. Rising tiger. Okay, I think we're all done with our special or elite. And we have 30,000. So we should go on a spending spree next time we get back. We can kind of go right now. I don't see another zombie. So we'll get this pack too. We'll pick up elemental pop. And then maybe that'll help us stay up there longer without our uh, ring of fire. Because if we can brain rot a zombie... They can go ahead and just build up our ring of fire for us. Let's grab pack two. Let's go over here. Let's get elemental. Oh, we didn't get PHD yet. So we basically have everything now. I'm not going to grab tombstone today. Don't need it. As if I grab it any other time. Also, real quick, this is what the crossbow looks like. Pack two. Very nice. The green looks really good on it. And on the top, like at the actual bow part of the crossbow. I like that the camo goes across on the inside there so you can see it. Very cool. And I was right. After every shot. Oh, wait. That one didn't count. Every time we reload immediate electric cherry so this actually might be able to survive up here now and there's our brain rod i was talking about go give me that ring of fire please but don't take all my kills and it's doing a lot more damage too oh we should have seen if we could upgrade it all right we'll we'll, we'll see during the assault wave there's our downfall camo three more enemies in one shot and funkadelic that's 500 while it's pack a punch and there's our assault wave so we unfortunately don't have enough to go get pack three but we don't have to go all the way back to go ahead and upgrade this so let's get it to purple can't afford gold yet but we can get tier two on our armor and this should be a very easy assault wave we can just pick them off from up here where are they coming from over here guess what done all of them oh we got some elites coming in too they're about to get slapped is that it oh nope we got more coming from all portals now what's up mangler guess what popped your dome get out of here easy we'll take our rewards for that we'll grind the rail on the way down simple there's our drench camo three or more with a single shot 40 times i think we need to get up to 50 uh-oh uh-oh we're getting mobbed they're mine it was just two elites these zombies i can handle oh double points i'll i can handle that as well i'm gonna throw a decoy out give me a little bit of time to deal with these pests i really gotta kill this mangler like right now i'm gonna go down never mind shatter blast saving the day we can ring a fire here oh let's go Let's not go. I hit the nuke. We got our chemical camo. Oh, but that's disappointing. I didn't want to hit that. We we're in a groove. This is such like a hit or miss weapon. Zombie, get off me. All you zombies get off me. Oh, jeez. Of course. Of course I'm down. Zombie, get back here. Oh, I really need to get a kill here. Quit running away. Oh my god. You might be too far away. This is bad news bears. Zombie, get over here. Please, please, zombie, please. I can see you running away. Get over here. No! No way I'm about to lose! I had a ring of fire and everything! Oh, come on. I'm actually about to lose. No shot. He killed me and ran away! No! Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to reset up. All right, well, at least we can see how far we got. I'm pretty sure we're only like one camo away. That's so disappointing. That's what I get for turning on the rampage inducer so early. All right, let's see. Okay, I guess we still need like to double our kills and then we still need to double our pack-a-punch kills. Ah, <sighs> we'll hop back in. Now we got to take the drive of shame and agony. I can't believe this. We went through all that trouble just to use the worst version of the crossbow as possible. I was just talking about how like, oh, you know, this gun's, you know, pretty decent once you get set up. Well, it says get it set up. It's pretty annoying. And guess what we got to do? 
Get it set up. I can't believe this. I'm so annoyed right now. Maybe we should have grabbed Tombstone. If we had Tombstone, we would have survived. I didn't think the zombie would kill me and then literally run three blocks away. He just ran a marathon and there's no chance of me catching up. Tombstone definitely would have saved me though. That's what I get for shit talking it. Great. Shut up, Pack. Not in the mood. So I gotta get the stupid ass power back on. Oh, no wonder I grabbed that random arrow after we turned on the thing earlier. If I run over the bodies of the zombies I kill, I get the ammo back. I'm an idiot. Of course I can pick up the bolts. All right, power's officially back on. So annoyed that I had to do that all again. But we're about to get pack a bunch and we'll be able to start getting our camos back. All right, there's pack a bunch and camo progress has resumed. I'm not even gonna go for free jug. I don't care enough. In another universe, we'd be fighting Ordo right now. But no, we fumbled the bag. There's our bloodshed camo, a thousand kills. We're only 500 away on normal kills. I don't think we're that far behind on pack a punch. No way I'm already down again. I'm so pissed. I'll use my self revive, son of a bitch. And we have an assault wave. There's our boutique camo, a thousand kills while pack a punch. So we're only 500 away. Shouldn't be too bad to do. And our last zombie, there we go. Oh, get away from me. I'm not going down again. It's not going to happen. Shatter Blast, thank you. Oh, this thing's not even one-shotting anymore. We need pack two, like, right now. And I'm out of ammo. Sick. I'm boxing these zombies. Get out of here. Skadoosh. Oh, beautiful. And I finally have enough to get pack two. So I'm going to go ahead, turn on the Rampage Inducer, and grab it. I should have did that in reverse order, but not that many zombies left in this round. I think I'll be able to manage. Oh, my God. I almost went down as I was saying it. Let's get these kills real quick. There we go. Let's grab it. I accidentally marked it. We should be good now. Hopefully. Knock on wood. All right. We're doing just fine now. Perfectly fine. I'm going to ring a fire. I'm going to hold off here for a second. And I need to grab something extremely important before we go to kernels. Yeah, we don't have that many zombies left. So now I can grab it. And then an important thing is going to be tombstone. Get off of me. I I, I learned my mistake. I, I shed it on it. And then tombstone shed it on me right back. So I'll take it with me. All right, now we can safely, hopefully, sit in Colonel's office here. But if I die again, I'm just going to leave the crossbow at whatever camos we're at. Oh, and we have uh, an assault wave immediately. So scratch that. We're not sitting in Colonel's. Let's get this assault wave over with. All you would kindly just die. And that should be it, right? Oh, no, we have a mangler. Goodbye, mangler. Later, pal. All right, now we can officially relax in Colonel's. By relax, I mean very stressfully try to get the rest of these camos. And we're about to where uh, where we died last time now. We've we've caught up. I probably should have grabbed PhD. Because if we do get in a tough situation again, we can just nade at our feet, but not without PhD. Oh, there's Rotten. We're all done. All our normal kills are done. We just need uh, some more normal kills with pack a bunch. All right, we have like one zombie left. I'm running back and I'm getting pack three right now. This is something we weren't able to do last game. But if we do it now, we should be set up for at least the next few rounds. All right, there's pack three. Kill that zombie. Uh, we actually don't have mule kick. We died when we grabbed mule kick last time, and I never re-grabbed it, which is very unfortunate. All right, well, I guess I'm going to train around here at spawn until we have enough to get both those perks back. So I'm just going to train and try to shatter blast the whole crew. Hopefully that works, and I don't die in the, the early 20s of rounds again. There's one big shatter blast. I'll take all the scrap. Thank you. Now let's just go ring a fire by Rabinov. Oh, geez, they're still rushing me and like getting to me through the fire and the flames. They're carrying on. And really quick, while we only have one mangler left, this is what pack three looks like on the crossbow. Very nice. Looking great. Looking fancy. Now I'll go ahead and grab PhD. Uh, we still can't afford mule kick. How much is mule kick? 7,000. That's not cool. Oh, there's a mimic to help stabilize the points and we have enough for mule kick now all right we got everything can we upgrade anything though yep we can let's get this purple and let's get the hell out of here or i die oh there's gold viper we got it we did it we're done with the crossbow but i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut to us fighting orda because i still want to see how it does against him and i'm not about to let us fucking up ruin that so I'll see you guys when we get to Orda. All right, there we go. I actually went down again. I had to get myself back up, but Orda's finally here. We have this thing all the way up to legendary. We have a ring of fire ready. We have all of our perks. Uh, we're going to give this thing its full potential against them, and we're going to see how it does. All right, Orda. I didn't play this game twice just to lose to you. It's not going to happen. All right, let's ring a fire. Can we even hit him from here? We can. It's doing 4,000 damage per shot if they're landing. Sometimes they're not. 
So this thing's chunking away at his health. It's actually doing a really good job. Already got him down to a quarter or a quarter of his health is gone. A little difficult to hit him, but now that he's more visible, it should be fine. We already got him to half health. We're out of ammo. I'm going to drop down and buy some. There we go. I'm going to throw it on a decoy. Those zombies can fuck off. Now, without a ring of fire, though, this is a little difficult. There is a crafting table. Cool. Let me grab some Gersh's and some nades. He's critting. Unfortunately, I can't be there for it. Let's get a few more shots in on him. I'm going to throw another Gersh down. Please give me a ring of fire. That's all I want for Christmas is a ring of fire. I'm like one zombie kill away from one. There's some over here. There we go. That's it. Goodbye, Orta. See you later. Get the fuck out of my game. Later. Goodbye. All right. We got him. Get out of here. And we just got an achievement for killing 10 Ordas. I'm sure I've killed way more than that, especially on this account. But we got Orta. Let's get out of this game and let's go see what this thing looks like with Dark Aether. All right. This is what it looks like with Gold Viper. Very nice. Hold on. I still have a sticker on here. Let me get rid of that. All right, one more check on the Gold Viper. It looks really good on this, honestly. This is like what Gold Viper is made for. This is one of the best weapons I've seen with it on, actually. Like Diamond, let's check it out. Not bad. I'll stud it out. The secondary color works well with it. And Dark Aether on it looks great as well. Hopefully we can get a nice good look at it in game. So that's what we'll do. And I'll see you guys there. All right, this is what the crossbow looks like in game with Dark Aether. Honestly, I'm not too sure I like this too much. Because when you're holding it like this, you're mainly seeing that secondary matte black color right there with the iron sights and everything. I guess when you aim down, the bow looks pretty good. But when you inspect it, I don't know. You don't get a whole lot of it. And it seems like the pattern... Or at least the, the nice bright pink and like purple part of the pattern that I like the most does not show up on it very much. It's a whole lot of just the, the void looking color. I guess that looks kind of decent. I don't know. I feel I feel like me going down kind of soured uh, my taste on on the crossbow. Uh, I mean, it's looking okay here. I, I guess since it's such a like a vertical part of the weapon, like this whole area here that has the Dark Aether on it, like there's not enough room for enough of the good part of the pattern to be showing. Like, it's always going to have some of the void on there, which is is very unfortunate. But there you have it. Uh, not my finest hour. Uh, we kind of showed the, the positives and the negatives to using the crossbow. When it's good, it's good and it's fun. But when you have to set up with it or when the, the health of the zombie scales too fast for the crossbow to catch up, uh, it, it gets a little difficult. But uh, definitely could have been avoided had I not gone down in the first few rounds there. And I still had my self-revive or if I picked up Tombstone. But, you know, you live and you learn. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. And if you're new here, we can start subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.